Okay. Okay, so this week is uh, actually more fun. Um, so you're gonna be a waiting planner. Uh, you're gonna be uh, just a project manager in that sense. Um, so it's uh, accelerating waiting planning using AI. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be planning a big and of course uh, looking over a big, big, big uh, wedding uh, event. Actually, you already, I believe you already know who is getting married. Um, so you are a wedding planner at Oasis, which is a popular planning company uh, and uh, your responsibility is to manage, uh, to manage and ensure events are completed on time and uh, deliverables are yes, on track. So recently you have been appointed or you, your your company has a client named Pioneer and King. Uh, I think you already know, everyone knows who they are uh, and they are getting married. So the kind that you divorced and uh, they're get, getting married, you are responsible for that wedding. So it's a big event, a lot of pressure on you uh and a lot of people are going to come and it's actually uh being called the wedding of the century so that just shows the like the weight of the event so what you're going to do is uh the first thing that you're going to do is invite uh, like uh, create invitation cards by using uh canva so you can uh also include you have to actually have to include images uh create a schedule for the wedding create speeches for the wedding uh project management uh, of the event and photos and videos so here you're gonna learn to improve your project management efficiency event planning and organization efficiency improvements so uh, as well, uh, like as uh, as it is before this week, so uh, we you only are going to have one submission, which is going to be on Saturday. So let's get to the tasks. Okay. So for the tasks, for so you, as I've said, like the first task or the first thing that you're going to do is uh, create invitation cards for the wedding by using Canva. So you have to create a new account, and uh, there are a lot, a lot of a lot of templates uh, that you can choose from. So you can just uh, pre uh, choose a pre-designed uh, template, or you can just create a new one from scratch. That's just up to you. Uh, customize, uh, but you have to customize the template by adding the couple's name, wedding date, venue, and other special uh, details. So what I would actually advice is since we all know who uh, like Kanye and Kim are you can actually search their image and use it uh, in in some way uh, and uh, like after you created the image you can just uh, download the invitation card in a PDF format or image for format for submission so uh, that's going to be your first uh, task. Uh, are there any questions? Okay, is it clear so far? Okay, good. So the second thing you're gonna do is uh, create just uh, events and schedule them using Asana. So Asana is just a, like a tool that you're going to use for scheduling the events this week. So you're going to be creating a schedule uh, for the actual event and covering like, you have to cover at least like five to seven key points, uh, key events that are going to take place in a, like a typical wedding. Uh, and this could be like a ceremony, co cocktail hours, reception, speeches, unique events, dance, and so on and so on, cake cutting, first dance, uh, uh, family fo photos, speeches, and, uh, and so on. So you have to have like uh, five to seven uh, like key events that you're gonna be scheduling. 
and then you're gonna be creating a list of events uh, for uh, like the events that you have here. You're gonna be creating a schedule for each of the events. So you're gonna be creating a board and uh, create a new list called uh, wedding day schedule uh, for each event. Create uh, an Asana card, uh, for instance, for the first the way the wedding ceremony you're gonna create uh, a schedule and so on. So for each event you're going to be creating a schedule so it has it will have a start date and end date venue location so where is it going to take place uh, is it on the beachfront uh, is it on the villa villa and so on. so yeah uh, you can also include uh, specific instructions so uh, like uh, get, getting the like the guest seated by a uh, certain hour, like uh, get, getting food ready by a certain hour, like cutting the cake by a certain hour, and so on. So you can use AI for optimizing uh, your timing. So here you can see uh, you have your schedule. You can optimize it by using AI. We have actually um, given uh, some examples that uh, of how you can do it. So you can just follow the, these things, uh, these points. And then you're gonna be printing and exporting uh, your schedule from Asana into a PDF or image, but I would we would refer, prefer PDF. And then uh, you're gonna be preparing uh, your speech, the speeches, like not your speeches, but speeches by using AI. So you're gonna be preparing the speeches for the best man, uh, uh, the bridesmaids, uh, the father or the sister of the husband, the wife, the groom, and the bride, and so on and so on. So here we have actually created some like example prompts. So here you can see like create a best month speech for a childhood friend. The couple names are here. You're gonna insert the couple name like uh, Kenya and Kim, and they meet in college, including so like. These are just, of course, these are made up, but um, you can just include these kind of things. So the more detail you you can include, the more clear it becomes. So uh, make, make sure to create uh, these types of details. You, you can look, look them up and so on, how they met, like, uh, and so on. So they have already, they have had, like, already, like, a, a wedding. So I think you can find these things easily. And then, yeah, so you're going to be creating, uh, once you create the draft, you're going to be uh, finalizing it by, uh, like, uh, like, yes, Casa. Okay, thank you, Kerot, for your presentation. Yes. Maybe before you jump to task four, on task three, for example, when we consider some speeches from her father, her mother, uh, maybe from relatives, are we going to put separately, or maybe it can be long? For example, speech of her father, her speech of when we divide it like this one. Are we yes. making in the in one paragraph or in different uh, parts? One paragraph per person. Are you saying? Mm. Like yeah. one paragraph per, per person. So for for example, for the best man, you're going to be creating the, the speech for the, the best man alone. So you're going to be writing the best man speech and you're going to be uh, put, put, putting what he's going to be saying at uh, the wedding. You're going to say like the bride's, uh, the bride's uh, father uh, is going to speak now like uh, and put uh, his speech there and so on. So one paragraph per person, I think it's good. So we can divide it into the search partitions. Yes, yes, it's actually written here. Actually, okay. thank you. So this is just for the the best man. Yes, um, Bernard. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. Um. So I just wanted to clarify. So. Um, we are going to use uh, Canva and then Asana, right? And um, what is actually like the, the different? I know you are going to use the Canva for design. So, what's actually the use of Asana in this in this uh, challenge? 
Yeah, good question. So, uh, so you, we, we're going to be using Asana for scheduling and uh, like orchestration. You, you, you can say and Asana task and so like same, something similar to Fedora, but uh, much more powerful. I would, I would say. So it's for scheduling. You schedule your put your schedule there, and you will assign people there, and they will get uh, notifications from there, and you will get. Uh, like a dashboard showing you uh, what's coming next, uh, what has been completed, so on and so on, what has been blocked and so on. Okay, uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Any other? Yes, that's uh, Good morning. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, I just I just joined not quite long and um, I discovered you discussed the uh, talking about Canva and the uh, Asana. Is Canva <coughs> part of what we use in week ten? And uh, I want to ask the since we said we'll be doing a sh preparing a schedule with Asana, uh, is it like the one we did for the Notion? The schedule we prepared with Notion then. Can we use Notion or there are they different? Uh, they have different features that we can only use as now for this tax. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, question. So, yeah, you're going to be using uh, Canva for designing the invitation card, and you're going to be using Asana for scheduling and orchestration. Like, uh, you, you're going to be building that dashboard and so on. So it's a very powerful tool. So it's not uh, in many ways related to Notion. So for this week, you're going to be using uh, Asana for it. So it's not Notion is not ideal for orchestration and scheduling. Plus, it's a new uh, tool that that's uh, good for you to know. But yeah, that's a good question. Any other questions, guys? Before we move on to the first task, or is it clear? Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. Um, so there. Course task is going to be uh, event coordination and ma management. So here again, you're going to be using Asana uh, to just uh, manage the whole wedding. So previously you have already as a scheduled the wedding, but now you need to manage it and uh, coordinate the event. So how you're going to do it is you're going to be assigning tasks. You're going to be defining the tasks. So. Uh, for instance, for the task, uh, so here it's going to be, it could be book venue or uh, making sure uh, that the people are seat seated by this time and so on. Uh, so here you, you can uh, just uh, create a description of what is going to be uh, created due dates and uh, just uh, generate uh, an, a team member to be the assignee. So here we would really recommend you to use AI in order to help you prioritize the tasks, uh, the deadlines, and uh, like automatic re reminders. So here it has reminders. Uh, so it's very good tool to use in case of orchestration and uh, like uh, managing uh, uh, like a project like, like like this. So you will uh, finally you will use. Uh, Asana dashboard uh, just to track progress. So what has been started, what has been in progress, and what has been done, and what has been not done. Uh, you're going to be tracking it by using this. So you're going to be adding a widget. And in the widget type, you're going to say uh, progress tasks, tasks, uh, status, and due dates. So here, it's going to show you uh, just a basic graph of uh, these things. So you will share that one with us. So here, you can also create your own widgets. So these are just predefined widgets. Uh, you, you just select the chart type or the graph, uh, and then filter the data you want to specifically uh, like focus on and uh, display just the graph. So here, uh, like it's optional, but it's good to have. So you can use the 
Asana's orchestration or uh, automation tool. So here you can go to the customize. So you will see these things that it, because you have um, a session point, but you can also uh, do uh, like set rules to be automatically created and uh, send reminders uh, when the task is near or like 10, 10 minutes before the task, it will uh, send you a Slack message and so on and so on. And you can use Asana's reporting to just uh, report what's behind the schedule and that just as needed. And you can use it as a communication tool. So you can write comments, update tasks, and so on. So these are actually uh, recommended, but uh, optional. So is that clear, guys, before we move on to the due, due dates and the submissions? Okay, good, that's good, okay. So uh, let's move to the due dates. So what's you what you're gonna be submitting. So you're, you're gonna be submitting a PDF, uh, Format report, which is going to include your tasks from task one up to task four. So what you're going to be submitting is the first thing is uh, include a screenshot uh, or image of the wedding invitation card that you have designed by using Canva. Ensure that the invitation card includes the couple's name. So we are going to be checking for the couple's name. So make, make sure to input the correct couple's name the date, the venue location, and other details that you want to just add to the card, it's good. Uh, you're going to be providing a screenshot of an overview, uh, overall view uh, of your projects from Asana. And these screenshots should display the entire wedding schedule uh, from your overview project with a list of key events uh, such as ceremony, cocktail hours, and receptions. And then finally, you, you're going to be uh, including screenshot from a detailed view for any specific event in the uh, wedding. So you can just uh, choose a specific task and just show us the detailed view of that task. So uh, when we move to uh, task three, you have the, fin the final version of the speech. So after you use uh, ChatGPT or other AI tools to generate the uh, uh, speeches for the guests that are going to be speaking. You're going to be need, needing to just uh, make some adjustments and edits uh, to finalize it. So after you do that, you're going to be submitting it. And for task four, you're going to be including a screenshot of your uh, Asana dashboard showing your just an overview of the project's progress screenshots should actually show uh, like visual elements like progress bar or charts uh, like what we have discussed earlier the types of crops and the overall tracking of the tasks and milestone of the wedding planning process so you will use asana for tracking and of course uh, you you can actually use it as automation if you want but yeah so that's going to be it for uh, this week. So, is it clear, guys? Okay, good. Good to see. Um, so, for the schedules, uh, you're going to be having, we are actually ha having the challenge to the introduction to the challenge, and in the afternoon, uh, I think around an hour uh, or an hour and a half from now, you're going to be, we're going to be having a session on. Uh, Creating an introduction to Canva for creating invitation cards. And of course, after that, tomorrow we're going to be having a session on uh, using Asana for project management. And finally, we're going to be having a session on using AI to join speeches with Rudolph and a QA in this session on Friday. Yeah, so that's going to be it for my from my side. Uh, you can not sure uh, we have included some reference points that you can check out. So make sure to just check them out okay so uh is there any question guys before we uh move on
Okay, is it clear? At, at least like some confirmations. Okay, Casa seems to get it. What about the others? For now, it's clear, but if we have any issue, we will get back to you, I hope. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Uh, as always, we, uh, you are welcome. So, thank you, guys. Uh, have a great day. Bye.